Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to detect a tempo of a song or a long sample that you have. In this case, say you're doing a remix and you have an a cappella or you have a beat that you want to chop up and it's not the right tempo or you want to find the tempo, this is the tutorial you're looking for. In this case, you can either drag and drop any file you have, say an mp3 or a WAV file or OGG into FL Studio, or you can just use Edison and import a file, which I've done right here. So I've imported one of my songs. I just went to here, the little floppy, click it, load sample, and you can load anything you have. It displays all the uh, file formats that it'll open up. Basically, and all the popular formats that you have will open up. And then it will decode it into Wave, and we have it right here. Um, if you don't know how to open up Edison, basically, if you have nothing and you have just FL Studio open, just click on the mixer. You can throw in an instance of Edison, or you can just click on this uh, up here. That will bring up Edison, and I'll be in the master channel. So these little scissors icon will bring up Edison. Once you've done this, say we want to import the whole song. We can click, so when we left click, I can click and drag all the way to the left, and here click and drag all the way to the right, so it's highlighted the whole song, or you can hit control A, and click on this button and drag and drop, it says at the top left drag slash copy slash sample, so drag and drop. So right now it's on the playlist, so if we listen to it. My name is Maximus Loyalist. Say we don't know the uh, tempo of the song. In many cases, when you're using electro house or any electronic music, and there's a, well, just a fundamental kick in the background, it's very simple. And most of the time, FL Studio will detect the tempo properly. So in this case, when you want to detect the tempo, you can go here, the top left, detect tempo, and you give basically an estimate of what you think it's around. Since it's Electro House, in no way is it going to be less or more than 75 to 150. So we'll click 75 to 150. And even though here it says the sample came with tempo embedded 131, so it already knows the tempo because it was embedded inside. But let's uh, see if we can detect it. So depending on the length of the sample or the uh, file, it's going to take a bit. And right there, it says the tempo of the sample has been detected as 131 BPM. Would you like to set the project tempo? In this case, yes, we want to. Say you don't want to, say you're like, no, my project, I want it to be 128. You'd make it say, or like, say you wanted 126. The song is still 131. So in this case, just click fit to tempo. Again, just click 75 to 150. And we know that it'll find out that it's 131. You see here it says favorite 65.5. It'll just double that and it'll be 131. And then it just gets, uh, it takes a bit longer for stretching it. And then after that, it'll just be stretched, stretched to uh, 126 BPM. So anytime you change the BPM now, it'll be synced to it. It'll say, oh, do you want to restretch? And it'll restretch to 137. So right now it's synced. The only problem where you have um, issues is if say you're importing an acapella from an original song and you don't really know if you're doing double the tempo or if you're just, you know, if you don't have a good estimate and by mistake you're uh, doubling up. The best uh, thing to do in that case is tapping rather than detecting it automatically. So if you play the song, so let's go to uh, say an area here. easiest way to tap is to either tap on every uh, whole beat like one two three four two two three four um, or in this case it's the same thing but you just you tap on the kick so you'd right click on the tempo go to tap and each time the kick comes you click on this like so and it'll make a metronome sound the idea here is that you tap it and then you get an idea of uh, what the tempo would be so in this case let's have a listen So 
that case, uh, it worked fine. The only thing is just remember that we've stretched this to the tempo. So as I was t uh, tapping, it was uh, reducing the speed up and down. So when you tap it, when you tap without stretching it to the tempo, so say you threw in the song and you didn't know what it was, it, and you started tapping, it won't stretch it. You'll just find the tempo, you'll be listening, you'll find the tempo, and then you can uh, click fit, fit the tempo and do the following. When you do tap, and um, after detecting and it's not found the tempo correctly, and you've tapped and uh, gotten a good idea of what the t uh, tempo is, in that case, you'd have to um, click fit the tempo and click type in BPM. In that case, then you type in whatever it is, like 131, 128. And then it will stretch accordingly to the uh, master tempo. So that was a quick overview of how to detect the tempo of a song or a sample. Uh, check out my other tutorials. Be sure to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.